guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account and it is patch day, which means we have our new hero, we have our new beast. Wanna go through here and kind of collect up everything in, in its entirety. Now, of course, we know with the new beast being released, the beast seems like it is going to be an absolute monster, meaning that the skills and abilities that it does possess um, seem very intuitive to what we have with our support heroes. And it seems like, again, utility with the beast, I think is going to be very, very high. Now, in addition, we do have a new code. I'm gonna drop the code down below. That gave us 30 of our common scrolls. I was hoping it was gonna be some insignias, but overall, just some common scrolls. We are also getting the rewards from my monthly cards, which I didn't pick up yesterday, but also the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor in here, which means we are also gonna have, boom, five more of these insignias that we are trying to essentially claim and trying to keep in their entirety because, of course, we are still trying to finish out the... Um, the draconic version of Gwen. And of course it's very expensive. There's another four right there. I was hoping that we would get to 10 because today might be the day that we have the ability to go ahead and pick up that hero. And of course, dimensional heroes are 12 more hours, guys. In 12 hours, the heroes are gonna be gone. So this is your last shot within that seven day period for your redemption. And then of course, looking at the events, the Lost Spire has four more days. So it's almost done as well as the Vault of Time, Temple Rift, nine more days. And then of course, like I said, the new beast is up, which means we can get some free exchange out of here. Now, some players say that it is not worth it to do the exchange. Me personally, I like being able to pick my beast itself. So once we get that, and of course, once you go in and you do the actual part of the adventure, uh, the voyage, you can go in there and you can get a lot of resources out of there as well. So make sure you do pick those up. Now, of course, looking at our beast ground, we wanna go ahead and we wanna lure and it's gonna show us we have the new beast. There is the new beast. And the biggest reason that I say over and over to go ahead and farm up your baits is because when we come over and back here, knowing the importance of the beasts as we have them today, we have a level zero beast like a majority of players do. They are giving us 47 copies. That's right, 47 copies of this beast itself. Let's go ahead and quick upgrade. 48 copies in total, giving us a level 18 beast, which means, of course, right off the beginning, the beast is done. We have all the skills, we have all the abilities. So whether you're a free-to-play player, which a lot of free-to-play players do have Beast Resonance 18, or if you're a tiny little baby dolphin like I am, or if you're a giant whale, guys, getting the beast in here are very, very important. Now, of course, looking at the wish list, I am just keeping the wish list the exact same. We can go ahead and throw some summons in here. And what I've been doing is just building out the Slumbering Seal. So with everything that we have and all of the copies, everything else, we have just been going through, and as you can see, the Slumbering Seal right now is on 24. We have a 22, a 20, and a 20 right there. I don't know if at one point or at all there's going to be a point where they do go ahead and update the Beast Resonance or they add more to it. Um, that is yet to be seen. Now, in here, I do have some diamonds that we're going to go through. I want to do some summons because we are still looking for Melion, and that is the one that we're looking for. Now, Gwen is red? I'm not sure why, why Gwen... Gwen had the little red thing. Um, I think it's because there's probably a new hero in there. And then, of course, these are super expensive, the reason we have it. But we are looking for Melion, and we do have a little bit of food. So actually, I'm going to drop out all of these other heroes, and I am just going to put in Melion. And again, Polina, we know we have enough, enough copies. Based on what we've done in the past, the wish list having one single hero in here has made a big difference. Now, of course, this is going to be used with diamonds. I do not recommend this at all, guys. But when there are heroes that are being used, for me personally, it's either I have the hero or we don't have the hero. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a few small summons first just to kind of hit that 20 mark. And of course, we are also looking for copies of Gorgie. Very cool that we are getting a few copies of Gorgie because we want to make sure that we can build out these heroes. And then, of course, there's number 20. That is going to give us the bonus loot that we have right up here on top. Or it'll wind up for some reason. All right, so we got a couple summons in here. Hopefully we can get a highborn. That would be absolutely amazing if we did have the ability or the chance. I know it's a super low probability, but there is Cassius. Now you'll note that Cassius isn't in the wish list like we were just talking about, but we still did get a copy of him. And there is Melion. That is the one that we are looking for. Gorgie did give us some pretty good copies in here. And then of course, I think that is our last one. Another elite, another copy of Melion. And that's, again, the reason why we only put him in there is having the ability. Now, of course, Draconic Supply is looking at Gwen. We still need this one copy of Gwen. 
Come on, Gwen. We we used, I believe, what was it, 20 or 25 last time? <sighs> these are just so tedious. It's like pulling teeth trying to get these heroes. And we know the rates for this one didn't change. We have two more pulls. And the final one for Gwen, it might be, it is not. So another nine more. And again, every time that we're, we're doing this, um, we're getting closer. You know what? I, I was thinking let's buy a pack, but you know what? I, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. So we did get some more copies for Melion. Um, Mail, I think that's just the patch notes. Yeah, and the Guild Hunt, which again, not too worried about that. We've already gotten our copies out of the store um, with the Guild Hunt with Eugene. So we're saving those. Already got the stones out of there. Boom, we get some of our epic, which we get 12. I mean, that's pretty good. I know they're giving us one every single day, which again, I feel like Feel the Stars needs a lot of updates in addition to the bosses, a couple other places that we do need a few new things really to, to get it moving in here. Um, with the amount of stuff that we have, I feel like we're, we're slowly falling behind with where we're at, but I'm super excited to get that new beast. Again, when I didn't build the beast resonance up to 18, I felt like it was a massive, massive miss. And then you can see dimensional heroes. That's right, 12 more hours. They are gonna be gone out of here. And then looking at our twisted bounties, we are going in for the poke coins. Let's go ahead and do some summons with those pull coins. And I also, again, want to build up Meleon a little bit further. Because he is one, again, that we are going to need those copies of. So Polina is just going to take a backseat right now. We do have a couple copies right there of Gorgie. But I wonder if, do we not have enough? Do we do have enough? I was wondering, so there's Legendary, there's Legendary Plus. That, of course, is going to be our food. For him, that takes him up to Mythic. Very nice. Boom, signature item is unlocked. And then, of course, we have the four copies here. We have one extra copy. We do need another food. And then, of course, two more copies of him. Then we also need food for Polina. And then, of course, we do need some more copies of Gwen. So we still have a lot to build with this Draconic Faction. But again, when it comes to the hero, we want to make sure that we're building him out. Just for the simple fact that he is support. He does have utility in a couple different places. We'll have to see where he falls in the tier list. And of course, looking at when he takes fatal damage, he consumes the available precept power to avoid death. And then at the start of battle, he gains precept power for the insight. I'm going to go ahead. I think I have enough of these draconic insignias that we've just been kind of collecting. There we go, guys. There is the plus 30 signature item. So that means the viability of this hero actually goes up a ton with the signature item in here. So very, very cool. Then of course, the normal attack is replaced with Restraining Discipline, which deals additional damage. I'm not too worried about his damage. I just want him to be able to function well as a hero. So we're building him out. And again, very, very slowly. We know that Lan came out today. And with him, there's not gonna be any chance in the world that we're gonna be able to build him because I still do wanna get a couple more copies of uh, Gwen to get the one star and also of Hildwin to get the one star. Now, of course, Sanctuary is going to give us a couple more rewards. Not enough to do anything with, but I do want to hop in the Oak in. I want to drop land in here because eventually we're going to build him. Um, it's probably going to be much, much later than it's going to be sooner. We've been looking at some of the heroes. We have a 28 there on Leica. Let's drop land in here. I know he is not built up. And then we all do, do have Melian in there. And we have Raul. We have a couple heroes in here that we really do need to build. And we have just been saving up those cards that we got. So there is a copy for Liberta. And of course, we already do have the Awakened version of Athelia max out at that 36 furniture. Again, it's kind of crazy. There's a double right there and it's double LAN. Look at the lock right there. Stacking up these pole coins, guys. I can't even imagine if, and there's number three for LAN. Are they pushing the furniture on him because they know no one's gonna build him? There's double Liberta. Wow. So does that say Liberta is maxed out? I'm wondering if that's what it was saying, because maxed, that is maxed. So he is maxed, guys. And if you don't know, you can strengthen up furniture. So all the way across the board, completely maxed. So he is at a maximum furniture. So I'm going to drop him out. Let me put Leica back in here. Because again, she's at 20. We have 20, 25, 15. So we are getting and building out a lot of these heroes. And we have two more summons. That gives us our second totally completely maxed hero within AFK Arena. Go ahead and recycle everything that we're not using. 
And again, I don't know how long it's gonna take us if there's no updates or changes um, to really build out land. And I also wanna see the utility of where we are seeing Raul. So Raul is another one. We have zero furniture right there. We have three for Cassius. And then of course, these three Draconic up here. I have a lot of furniture for Gwen, which I'm okay with building Gwen up a little bit higher. We are starting to max these heroes out in their entirety, which is very, very cool to see that they're, they're, they're getting there. Honestly, looking at everything that we get in here, and I don't know why this resets sometimes, but we have all of these chests. We're gonna go ahead and pop open all the rest of these. Now we know that we do also have right here um, a couple events that are going to be coming back including the star zone. So the star zone, we're going to be able to build that up a little bit further. And we're at level 910 as we have made so much progression in here and really just going through 900 levels is kind of crazy. I know we, we've been pushing a lot, saving the engraving mats because we still have so many heroes that we need to build out. And of course, engraving is still relatively expensive. When you think of the, the cost to how much you're building out these heroes, it is still relatively expensive, but getting some chests out of there, which is very, very good. 8,000, so we're at 20 right there. And I'm wondering if we can level up our Elder Tree. Do we have enough to add another level? We do not. Now, of course, Elder Tree is completely maxed out at 218. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.